Hi, Tiny Tweets. We are going to start our first class for you today. You guys can listen to this whenever you want to, and I hope that it will help you to be able to practice some of our songs on your own at home until we can get back together and sing. So let's start with our listening song. Do you guys remember our listening song? Let's try it. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, lips are closed, hands are still, feet are really quiet, you should really try it, listen well, listen well. Good job. All right, guys, we are going to start teaching you about some cool things about music. So the first thing is, we are going to teach you about some notes. Can you guys see this? This is called a quarter note. Can you guys say that? Quarter note, let me hear you say it. Good, this note has one beat, okay? So this is a quarter note, okay? We are going to learn about all sorts of different notes in our classes, but we're starting with this one. We have this in a lot of our songs. All right, guys, there is a new song that I want to teach you that has clapping in it. All right, we're gonna see if I make a mistake with this or if I do it okay. Oh, nope, that's not right. All right. All right, so this is called the Bim Bum Song. And we do this and this and this. So let's go. Bim bum, bim bum, bitty bitty bum. Bim bum, bim bum, bitty bitty bum. Bitty bum, bitty bitty bum, bim bum. Bitty bum, bitty bitty bum, bim bum. Okay, so let's go back and try that again. So, we have, we tap on our legs, we snap our hands, and we clap our hands. And I hope I do it all in the right order. I'm watching, um, I'm watching a little series of them to make sure I get them in the right order. So our words are bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum. Can you guys say that with me? Bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum. Let's all try saying it together, okay? Bim bum, bim bum, bitty bitty bum. And then when we sing it, it goes bim bum, bim bum, bitty bitty bum. We'll say it again. Bim bum, bim bum, bitty bitty bum. And then we change it around a little bit. We go bitty bum, bitty bitty bum, bim bum. Then we say that again. Biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Now we go on with this song, but we're just gonna teach you a little bit at a time during these classes, and then every time we'll add a little bit more. All right, so um, let's go back and let's do it again from the beginning, and you guys can try to follow me. And the nice thing is you can go back and rewind this class, rewind it, and Miss Talbert is a little bit old, but you guys can go back to earlier in the class and play it again and again while you learn it. You can ask your mom and dad for help, okay? All right, let's try this. Oh, excuse me. So let's go, we start with clapping. That's what we start with, okay. And we go, bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum, bim bum, Biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Good. Let's try it one more time, okay? Let's try it one more time so we can practice those actions together, okay? So bum, well, biddy or bum or any of those things, okay? Let's go back to the beginning. We start with clapping, that's how we always start this song, okay? You guys with me? All right, let's try this one. And, bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum. Bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum. 
Biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Good job. Now, the one tricky thing about this song, guys, is not everybody knows how to snap their fingers. If you can't snap your fingers, you can just rub them together or you can just do this, okay? Because you'll learn to snap eventually. It's not a big deal if you don't know how to do it yet. All right, guys, I have a brand new song. You probably know it. Some of you probably know it, okay? So this is Down by the Bay. And to be honest, I'm not sure if the words are going to show up backwards for you because I don't know enough about video classes, but we'll try it, okay? So this goes down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home. I dare not go for if I do, my mother will say, oh no. Did you ever see a goose? Kissing a moose down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a whale with a polka dotted tail down by the bay, down by the bay? Where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a fly wearing a tie? Oh no! Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow? Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see llamas eating their pajamas? <gasps> down by the bay, down by the bay, Where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see an apple wearing a bapple? No, 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 no. Did you ever see an orange eating a blouse? No, that's not right either. Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme down by the bay? All right, guys, I'm going to get better at holding that book so that you can see all the pictures and the words. But it's this is a pretty fun book. It's pretty awesome. And we'll keep working on it. Plus, I have a second one. All right. Oh, sorry. I have, I have a little friend down here. And we're going to use this for our next song. Now, if you guys remember, in our class that we did on Monday, we started learning a new song. Do you guys remember that? Do you remember that we started learning Frere Jaca? Okay. We are going to turn on the piano file that Mrs. Cook made for us, which was super nice of her. All right. Let's turn it on. Make sure that you guys can hear it. I hope you guys can hear that. All right. And. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Ce n'est les matines, ce n'est les matines. Ding, dang, dong, ding.
tricky part of that song is it's in a language that not all of us speak. Do you guys know what language it's in? If you know, you should say it out loud. And I'm pretending that I can hear you. It's in French. That's right. So we sing, Frère Jaca, dormez-vous, sonnez le matina, ding, ding, dong. Now, if you don't know how to say those words, let's practice them together, okay? So I will say it, and I want you to say it back to me, okay? Can we do that just like we do in choir class? So I will say it, and you say it back. Frère Jaca, dormez-vous, Sonnez le matina. Ding, dang, dong. Now, the cool thing about this song is we repeat all those phrases. So I'll say it, and then I want you to say it back, and then I'll repeat it, and I want you to say it back, and we'll do the whole song like that, okay? And then we'll review the English just to make sure that you guys know it, okay? All right, so let's do the French one more time, just so we can learn it. Frère Jacques. Frère Jacques. Dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez le matina, sonnez le matina, ding, dang, dong, ding, dang, dong. What is a ding, dang, dong supposed to be? Do you know what that's supposed to be? It's supposed to be bells. So have you guys ever heard the Beaumont bells ring off the church at the top of the hill? Okay, so this person can hear bells in the morning and that's how they know it's time to wake up. Okay, maybe um, Brother John um, is sick or maybe he stayed up too late reading a book or maybe uh, he's a superhero and he was out fighting bad guys in the middle of the night. We never know. We don't know, but we do have to wake him up. So let's try one more time with singing it. And I want you guys to try with that French that we just learned. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for singing with me. Oh, nope, I made a mistake. All right, I'm gonna take a drink of water. Excuse me. And then, can you guys remember what this is? Do you remember what this is that we learned about? It's called a quarter note, and it has how many beats? One beat, that's right. So it's a quarter note. Can you clap with me? Quarter note, good. That's what that is. We're gonna learn about all sorts of different stuff with music, but we are gonna move on to a new song, you guys. Oh, nope, that's the wrong thing. All right, now, there is a song that we uploaded for you guys maybe two weeks ago called Farewell to Nova Scotia. And I don't know if you guys have had a chance to sing it, but it is one of our tiny tweet songs. Remember, this is the song that's got lots and lots of words. And it can be a little bit tricky, but it's also really fantastic, okay? So we are going to sing two verses and two choruses, okay? So that we can start learning this a little bit better. Guys, you can't see this, but my music stand is really, really wobbly. I'm gonna try and tighten it, okay. Let's try Farewell to Nova Scotia. Mrs. Cook made all these piano files for us, which was super nice of her. All right, let's try this. Turn that up. And 
the sun was setting in the west. The birds were singing in every tree. All nature seemed inclined for rest, but still there was no rest for me. Farewell to Nova Scotia, the sea-bound coast. Let your mountains dark and dreary be For when I am far away on the briny ocean tossed Will you ever heave a sigh and a wish for me? Do you guys remember that from our class on Monday? And from the video that I sent out to you guys a couple of weeks ago? Well, there's more verses to this song. So let's try some of the other verses and see if it helps. Well see if we can pick up on them. I hope you guys have been practicing that first one. But here is the second verse, okay? I grieve to leave, oop, I made a mistake, you guys. Let's try that second verse. your mountains dark and dreary be for when i am far away on the briny ocean tossed will you ever heave a sigh and a wish for me good all right so we have two verses and we need to be practicing them if you guys can go back and play it again that would be a good idea but let's go back and sing verse one and the chorus and verse two and the chorus just one more time so that we can be reviewing this song just like we would in class. Okay. And then we have another song for you. The sun was setting in the west. The birds were singing in every tree. your mountains dark and dreary be for when i am far away on the briny ocean tossed will you ever heave a sigh and a wish for me i grieve to leave my native land i grieve to leave my comrades all and my parents who your mountains dark and dreary be for when i am far away on the briny ocean tossed will you ever heave a sigh and a wish for me all right very good you guys are following along super super well we have one more song that we're gonna do with you guys mm, what did i do Oh, do you guys remember the new song that I said that I sent you guys about where did you go about the little white duck I might uh, there it is there's a little white duck so we practice this a little bit on Monday there's a little white duck quack sitting in the water we're gonna just do the first verse there's a little white duck quack sitting in the water a little white duck quack doing what he order he took a bite of a lily pad flapped his wings and he said i'm glad i'm a little white duck quack sitting in the water quack 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 
Yeah. Now, guys, next week for our class, we're going to sing this song a bunch and learn all of some actions. All of some actions is not the best grammar in the world. Just for the record, you guys. Do you remember what this is? Quarter note with one beat and we clap. Quarter note. All right, guys, that's the end of our class for today. I miss you all. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're staying healthy and we will see you all soon.